Okay, it is October 17th, and I'm here with Governor Gary Locke. He was the governor of Washington um, for two terms, and he is supporting Senator Obama in this campaign, and we're delighted to be talking to him this evening. Governor Locke, um, can you tell us why it is that you're supporting uh, Senator Obama, and why you think the Asian American community should support him as well? Well, I think that S Senator Obama truly represents all the ideals of what America stands for. That America is a, a land of freedom, hope, and opportunity, and through hard work and perseverance, dreams can come true. Uh, and because especially he's a person of color, that his election would mean that we have truly shattered the glass ceiling. And his election, uh, apart from his policies, and I want to get to a lot of his policies because I think they're so in concert with the everyday concerns of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders and the general population of America. But his election would be a symbol to people all around the world that America truly is that land of opportunity where dreams can come true. And his election would send a terrific signal to the school children uh, of America to have the biggest dreams and that those dreams can come true. So think big, have big dreams, uh, and go for it. Uh, but more importantly, uh, or equally important, uh, people are struggling. And so many AAPIs are very hard working families, individuals, oftentimes working two jobs to support a family, uh, truly working middle class families. Um, and they're struggling and they want more for their children and their grandchildren and future generations. And, and you know, America is really a land of immigrants, whether we're first generation or tenth generation, whether our parents came here voluntarily or involuntarily from Asia, from, uh, from Northern Europe or Eastern Europe or Africa or, or Latin America. And we need to celebrate that diversity, but we need to understand that immigrant experience of hard work, of struggle, of commitment to family, but also knowing that while many are successful, we're only a few rungs above basic middle class or lower income values and lifestyle, and that the turmoil of today is causing a lot of families and individuals to drop down several notches in that economic ladder. We need a person as president who understands our issues, our concerns, our worries, as well as understands our dreams, and I truly think that's Barack Obama. First of all, Barack Obama has lived in Asia, grew up in Hawaii, and has traveled through uh, uh, Indonesia and, and parts of South uh, Asia. So I think he has a bigger connection and a greater understanding, and he's been to Africa. He understands how, how lucky we are as Americans, but how fragile the working middle class families are in America. Uh, and, and we need someone who will unite us, someone who will address these issues of health care. So many families are just one illness, one accident away from being bankrupt. People are losing their jobs. Uh, people can't get uh, loans uh, to finance their businesses, to sell their products, uh, to ship their products while they await payment uh, for, uh, for their products. And um, people are concerned about whether they'll be good paying jobs for their children or even whether or not their kids can get a, a college loan or a scholarship to go to a college or university. We really need a president who's going to focus on the issues, the concerns, the worries, and help promote the dreams of working families and especially Asian American Pacific Islanders. What do you think that Asian American supporters of Obama can do to help um, persuade the community to support Senator Obama? Well, first of all, there's a, still a large a number, almost a, a third of the Asian American uh, electorate or, or voters who are undecided in this race. Uh, I, I really think that it's incumbent upon the leaders of the community. And, and, you know, the Asian American community, Pacific Islander community is not monolithic. We have so many different groups and different cultures that we call Asian American Pacific Islanders, South Asian, Korean, Filipino, uh, Chinese, and many generations of Chinese. Uh, Japanese and, and, uh, and the South Pacific, the list goes on and on. We need, it's important that the leaders of those communities who are supporting Barack Obama write letters to the editor, paid advertisements, uh, indicating why Barack Obama would be good for us and the rest of America as President of the United States. We have to bring it down to concrete terms. Uh, talk about health care, or talk about small businesses and, and uh, 
Barack Obama's positions on health care, making health care available for the employees of those businesses, tax incentives for small businesses to grow and prosper, uh, tax cuts for uh, middle class families. 95% of Americans would get a tax break uh, under Senator Barack Obama. Uh, and we got to stop giving huge tax breaks to people who are making five, ten million dollars a year. Um, I understand that you have founded a new political organization called the America's Opportunity Fund. Is that is that did I get the name right? Yes, uh, okay. former Commerce Secretary, former Congressman Norm Mineta, and I have created a uh, an organization called America's Opportunity Fund. Uh, it's a political action committee. We're raising funds, and our purpose is basically threefold: to help elect at the federal level, U.S. House or U.S. Senate, and statewide offices, people who are sympathetic to, understanding of, or supportive of the issues of the AAPI community. Uh, so that means that uh, you know, we would obviously prefer and be delighted to support Asian American Pacific Islander candidates, but we know that that's not always going to be the case, and we don't have that many running for federal office or statewide office. Uh, but until then, we're going to be supporting um, people of other backgrounds, ethnic groups, as long as they're supportive of our concerns. We need as many friends as we can in high places in those influential bodies of the United States Congress or in state houses, whether attorney general or governor, or lieutenant governor or state treasurer, that can understand our concerns uh, so that when policies are being made affecting our community, they're there to advocate uh, on behalf of us. The second uh, issue is uh, and purpose is to just increase the voter participation of, of AAPI because it doesn't matter who your congressman is if, if AAPI are more involved and more active uh, then that congressperson, that uh, policy maker, school board member, mayor, city council, state legislator, uh, governor will be more attentive and more sympathetic to uh, and um, uh, supportive of the issues of the AAPI community. Uh, and the third is to uh, help develop that network and that uh, groundswell of, uh, of talent at local races to connect them to national organizations so that if and when they're ready to run for uh, national office or statewide office or even local office, that we have helped publicize them, connected them, and helped them get networked to other organizations so that they can uh, receive the financial support and visibility so that their campaigns can be more effective and ultimately more successful. If, if, for instance, Tammy Duckworth, when she ran for Congress, if there had been more networking and assistance to her and linking her up with other organizations all across the country, uh, um, earlier on, she easily could have uh, perhaps uh, been elected to the United States House of Representatives. She came so close to being elected and a terrific candidate, but if, we could have, if everybody could have helped her earlier on uh, and mobilized uh, uh, people all around the country, I think she would have uh, gained a lot more votes. Can you tell us uh, what the America's Opportunity Fund is doing this year to achieve those three goals? Uh, we've endorsed uh, six uh, or so candidates all across the country, uh, uh, races for the United States House of Representatives, races for the U.S. Senate, uh, uh, some statewide races in California and the state of Washington. Um, but we're looking at open seats in Minnesota and Arizona, North Carolina, uh, going against uh, some incumbents. Uh, so we're. The candidates that we have endorsed, predominantly uh, Caucasian, but some people of color, AAPI, um, and a lot of these are open seats, but it's also against some incumbents. Uh, but we only endorse in critical races uh, where our support can make a difference. We're not going to support candidates uh, who are you know, favored to win by 90% of the vote. They don't need our support, nor are we going to support candidates who who everyone agrees has absolutely no chance in winning, whose uh, support in the polls are only five or six or seven percent. Because we want to make a difference. And with the hard-earned dollars that we're raising, we want to make sure that they are effectively being used. Um, and uh, so we're, we're doing that. But we're also engaged in voter outreach, making sure, like I said, that you know part of our, our mission is to increase the participation of the AAPI community. So we have teamed up with other national organizations uh, nonpartisan organizations, in fact, to make sure that we turn out the AAPI community to vote. Uh, this election is critical. Whether they're supporting a Democrat or Republican, Barack Obama or, or John McCain, Asian Americans need to vote. AAPI community have been part of the prosperity of America, have given their blood, sweat, and tears to the success of America, helping build the railroads starting a century ago, 
to serving in our armed forces and protecting our freedom and our liberty. We have every right, indeed we have a responsibility to be at the table helping set the policies that affect us all, and that starts with voting. Well, thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us today? Well, we're really pleased with the progress of, of uh, AOF in just uh, a year of uh, existence. Uh, we've raised over $200,000. Uh, our expenses are very, very low, uh, but we're trying to maximize it in terms of supporting candidates in critical, pivotal races, uh, but also really engaging in voter outreach. And with so many Asian Americans who are undecided in this presidential race, uh, where we're trying to mobilize the community, working with nonpartisan organizations to educate them on the positions of the candidates uh, and making sure that they vote. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. All right.